is Sabrina, Mrs. Scrap and Plan, as most of you know. Um, I'm gonna do a creative tour. I've been putting it off and putting it off and waiting to see if I can get my space perfect, but my space is never gonna be perfect. I am a messy scrapbooker, crafter, planner, and so this is about as good and as clean as it can be. So I'm excited to show you how I scrap and I have a lot of little trinkets and dishes out and boxes and containers because I'm a visual scrapbooker and planner. And so I'm excited to show you my tour. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Here is my space. It has taken on many forms over the years. I was never over here when the desk was against the wall. Um, it made it much easier and I could see the family if I was like this. Let's go into my space. This is my main desk where I work. Um, and do projects and have fun. And these are my limo studio lights and my little tripod right there and the ugly 70s lights in the kitchen, dining room. <laughs> so here we go. And I always have my phone plugged in. I have this little caddy right here and I got this idea from Heba, um, my little journal. I'll leave information for her. But she was saying that she uses these containers and she just puts her most grab tools. And I use it like that, but more often, I just dump everything in there, and then when I'm done with the project, I can just short, sort things. So I have scissors, my mini stapler, my one Nouveau drop. I need to order more. It's on my list, but I just keep forgetting. Two tape runners, some miscellaneous foam dots and quotes and stuff, cards from my birthday that just passed, more adhesive um, scrap paper, and then this one is supposed to hold pens and glue and that kind of thing. But I'm a messy crafter and things don't always get put back in the right place. And let me move this light so you can see what's on the other side. What's on the other side is a little box full of Ellie Studio cards and labels. And I sort these by color. And then back here I have some kind of themes going started um, I have spring right here and then more spring and then I just need to make tab cards summer lots of old old stuff and then fall right there I don't know why that's blurring on you but there's fall more fall and then Christmas is back here and then this is like yeah and then birthday and yeah, so I just sort them by theme. Makes it easier for me to try to find something when I'm working with something if I'm not working with um, kit projects. Over here, I have my most recent color cast designs, things that I have bought and that I want to use. I just always have too much stuff on my list. Um, lots of different pieces. Her most recent acrylic mix. I also have a drawer of her stuff. I will show you that in a minute. And over here, I just have some big Ellie Studio numbers. Allie Edwards, Clouds and Hearts. And then also color cast designs. I just reorganized kind of a season. And so these are all the summer pieces that I have that I've collected over the years. This is for her Project Life spread, and I haven't printed the photos because I'm going to send them off. So I didn't want these to get lost, so I just put them in these little containers. I think they're like condiment containers, and I get them from Walmart, and I use them a lot. This is random Ellie Studio stuff I need to put away or find a home or do something with. And this is the new Magical Memories um, veneer and the acrylic. And last night I was working on my Allie Edwards stash and it kind of exploded out of the drawer. So I now have, instead of one box, I have like three box, three boxes of Allie Edwards stuff. So I have this newest stamp set. This card needs to get put back in there. And I have this new stamp set and then all my other stamp sets that I have. And then this is the three by four. And this is the three by four, four by six cards. I have these sorted by um, year. 
since most of these are stories by the month cards. It goes a few miscellaneous in the front and then it starts with winter and then spring and then summer and then all the way to the end. And same thing here, I did the same thing. I did just monthly, January through um, December. It may have gotten a little mixed up. It looks like it might have, but that's how I usually have it. Up here is where dust collects. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a few little treasures. My son made me a phone stand. He bought me that cactus. They got me those for Mother's Day, and I bought that for myself. And then I got that after a friend, Mrs. Boom Reads, Jen Boom, um, recommended that, and she sent me that too. And so I just have a little stand of fun stuff. But I tend to forget to dust this. That's why I said this is where dust collects. This is a project I'm probably gonna do soon. A random A from my daughter's project, I'm not sure. Week in the Life notes and a kid magnet. Over here is my traveler's notebooks. This box is bursting. I have no idea where I got this box. I think it was um, the Dollar Tree. I tend to get a lot of boxes from Dollar Tree. Um, but this is where I keep my traveler's notebooks. And since it's bursting, I have books over there. This one is for um, August through December. It doesn't have a cover yet. I may make one with chipboard. I haven't decided. And then I have 52 favorites. Um, this is my traveler's notebook for January through April so far. I seem to be doing a lot more traveler's notebook spreads. So that's why it has the giant fat rings. But that's what that notebook is. And then I have some journals, journals. This is my summer one from last year. I think I have that mostly finished. I just need to do a few more odds and ends. This was a uh, fall 2016 Traveler's Notebook I started, but I never finished. And I think I have just a few other random pages that never made it in. And then my daughter's Traveler's Notebook that I started, but I've never really made progress with. And then, like I said, this is the book one. It is very fat, and I cut the pages all wonky, so it kind of looks like a real old-fashioned book with all the wonky um, size pages. These are my stamps. This one's the latest stamp, Everyday Phrases. Usually what I do is I take double-sided tape and I will stick it to the back of this because for me it just flops around and I don't like that. And, um, for these, I also stick them to the back. I use double-sided tape or just adhesive, and then I will clip them all together with a ring. And if these, if they're out of stock, I will put out, and then this one needs to also be clipped to this one. This is just alphas. And then back here, some stamps, and that one needs to be clipped too. It's gotten a little messy, and then these are just flat alphas, and then all my stamps are back here. For right now, this is the best organization I can come up with. I just thumb through what I need and what I don't need. So this little section right here is the albums that I'm kind of focusing on right now, or at least I have them out front and center. That way I can spend more time finishing them. And this first one is Mom and Kids um, from 2018. I've decided, um, since I'm so behind on this particular album, I'm gonna do a mom and kids album every other year. So this is 2018, and then this is my me album next to it. This is my planner for 2018 that I'm using to finish Project Life 2018, which is the black album. The larger nine by 12 gray album is Summer. Summer always has more photos, so I decided to try the nine by 12 album. And I'm nowhere near finished, but I'm trying. This little container doesn't really have a purpose right now. It's just kind of changing purposes. And I had Ellie Edwards stuff in it, but right now I have Scrap and Happy Studio and epoxy flares in there and snap pockets. I love these, those are for three by fours. And then my two most current uh, Ellie Edwards stories by the month kit and then up here I have a beautiful card from Brandy Kincaid my Funko that never stays up 
some patches, my name, and then these are just a bunch of little pieces that I have collected over the years and little quotes that I enjoy. And this amazing rainbow is from my friend Lisa in Sweden. And then this crochet up here up top, my daughter just gave that to me for um, parent appreciation in kindergarten. Moving over here, I have some Ellie Studio boxes and these tiny little bottle brush trees and some stuff I need to sort. I need another muffin tray. I will show you why in a minute. Cleaning some stamps and then this little thing. This thing kind of bugs me. It, it holds my 12 by 12 paper perfect, but then I have no use for the other sh um, compartments. So, but that's, it's just holding random stuff right now at this point. And well, the planner's not random, but <laughs> everything else is. And then I have a little gallery wall started and some artwork that I've had for years. Here is my planner cart. It is a mess, but <laughs> it works. Um, this is my wax paper from the genius that is according to Ali. Um, I use wax paper and then I have a bazillion stickers sorted into different categories. And then I just have a lot of books that I just didn't feel like needed to be separated. This is a summer project because it needs to be cleaned out. This blue thingy mabobber. And then this second, um, second thing, this is also another organizational piece that's constantly changing. This is some Christmas cards, a mini happy planner, happy notes, um, some bags. This is actually all bags, like different types of bags, small, whatever kind of bag I get in the mail, I tend to save it. These are planner stickers from other companies. This is stuff I want to give away, like if I ever do a giveaway. Probably if I reach a big goal on YouTube or Instagram. This has a bunch of old Bella Boulevard stuff when I worked for Bella Boulevard in just miscellaneous stuff. This has really old um, wood veneer that I'm still using and some more snap pockets, traveler and notebooks, a um, studio calico kit that I will probably use this summer and just more goodies back there, all types of journals. These are six by six paper pads from Ellie Studio that are now out of stock and extinct like a dinosaur. So I just put them there. The next shelf right here holds albums. I have a nine by 12, a um, six by 12, and just various different sizes. Over here, I just put, um, it was empty, but I wanted to put Allie Edwards Week in the Life 2019 and then the travel collection right there. Eventually, I need to find a better spot so it's more prominent on my desk, but that's where it is for now. This next one is page protectors and in the box is memorabilia. This is a gift from my mom. It's like this heavy um, owl and I've had it for years and years. I love it, so cute. She got it on Itzy. And, oh, let me show you my page protectors. I buy Simple Stories page protectors, and I buy the binders with the chipboard in them. I will use that to bind the front and the back. This one right here is the bigger one because that's the sizes I tend to use more often. This one I don't use as often, so that's why it's there. This is more planner stuff, but it's more the memory um, memory keeping planner stuff. And um, these are actually all just like extra planners that somehow I wound up with. Not sure what to do with, but I'm not gonna get rid of them at this time. So this is more albums and more projects that I'm working on. So if you're curious, this is um, Week in the Life 2016. I'm pretty much done printing it, but I don't know where I put my journaling. So I need to either find it or if I didn't even make it, I can't remember. And once I get it decided, then I can put it in there. So this is my summer 2018 album. And then my daughter's 
um, album of stories. This is January through April of 2018. And then this is September through November for me. And then these are all about me. November and December of me. And then this is, I was so inspired. I am so inspired by Melanie Blackburn. I will leave information for her, but she makes these beautiful six by eight family albums. And that's what I was thinking I'm gonna do for August, September, October, and November of 2018. Just keep it really simple and just put it in a six by eight. But obviously I'm not there yet because I have so many projects. And then the next one is the second half of the mom and kids album that I've started. And then this is um, my nine by 12 for Project Life family. These are all very old um, Project Life albums and albums where I documented my son when he was a baby and a toddler and just lots and lots of really old scrapbooks. And up here, I have all my owls that I like to keep, my crown from my birthday, and now let's go look at my drawers. So this one has my stamp inks, lots of sequins from the sequinologist, I'll leave a link for her. Some really old Ellie Studio and Feature Craft die cuts. My Kelly stamps right here. I just got this Days of the Week one. And that one. So this is my Allie Edwards drawer. And I'm always just trying to decide how I want to sort my stuff. But this is my newest, latest organization for it. So I have all the die cuts and I just sort it by color. That works better for me, easier for me. And then this is another color, kind of my neutrals. And then I have a little something right there like notepads and the rubber pieces I never used. And then cork and wood veneer. And then these are hybrid pieces that are left over from projects. Who knows if I will ever use those, but there you go. Okay, and then the next store is projects I need to finish. This is my memory planner for 2017, and then a project for my friend underneath that. This is my, like, I don't know what you call this drawer. I would call this the really old die cut um, ephemera drawer. I guess that's what you call it. I should probably do, watch a um, Jen Scow use it or lose it stash video because this is just out of control. Because I never use it. I feel bad. And then this is my craft drawer. When and if I ever get time to craft. There's all kinds of bits and pieces of stuff in there. Now, moving on to these drawers right here. Mess of cables. So this drawer is some lotion if I need it, um, some more color cast designs, some, I think these are Pebbles ink die cuts, um, the color cast designs book themed items, and then just pens that I don't normally use, chapsticks in every room, enamel dots, and then hard drives that I no longer use, and clips. And then some like really old post-its and yeah. They're also from Dollar Tree and I really like how they allow me to shuffle things around really easily. Other cast designs drawer and then I have a few pieces I haven't used. I sort by color and then the small acrylics I put also by color so they don't go mixed in. I recently added this. Whoops, I recently added this, the wood veneer. It's more the new releases. And this is kind of the spring releases. I have a page planned with that, but I just haven't gotten to it. And some older items. These are Halloween themed. And then those are Christmas themed back there. And then I have some frames, different frames and lots of frames. So much color gas design. I just can't help myself. She makes amazing stuff. 
And then I have the LE Studio drawer. This is what I was talking about, sorting this stuff. I think I need another muffin tin because it's, it's all full. Because this is the printed stuff and this is labels. And then this is a box of embellishments. And then this is more LE Studio. I put the six by six collections in these boxes. The paper still sticks up, but it works. And then I have wood veneer and acrylics over there and a few miscellaneous collections. But as you can see, I need more of those containers. I think those are once again Dollar Tree. And this one is my holiday themed washi that my kids are actually enjoying. My A6 punch, an old hard drive, and yeah. So I think I showed you everything. Everything in my fun crafty space. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this. So there you go. That is my crafty tour. I hope you enjoyed watching my crafty space and where I make things. <laughs> enjoyed seeing my messes and how I try to keep things organized. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you want to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching.